Here it is, it's week four, but I'm gonna talk about the challenge I did for January, which was to go all month without eating sugar. And so I did no sugar, I didn't do any any kind of like cheating, like no uh, corn syrup, no artificial sweeteners, no agave, no anything. Um, and it was, it was a long month, guys. I'm pretty much addicted to sugar and I love it. I don't really eat too much sugar on a normal daily basis, but except for breakfast. And that was my main problem is that probably for like 10 years now, I've been eating oatmeal for breakfast every morning. And what I do is I just use quick oats and I add some sugar in there and usually peanut butter or flax. And so I've been trying that without sugar throughout January and it just, I just hated it, man. <laughs> it was like, I was hoping that as the month went on, I would start to get used to not eating sugar and maybe my taste buds was, would adjust, but that just never happened. And breakfast wasn't really like, I look forward to eat breakfast, eating breakfast and that wasn't the case anymore. And it kind of sort of got the day off onto a bad foot. I was in a bad mood, especially later on in the month. And it's just, <laughs> I don't recommend it if you're active. If you're not active, maybe you can do a better job of it, but I just had a really hard time. And um, another thing is, especially during the summer, like it wasn't too bad during the winter, but during the summer, I really like to drink some sugar while I'm riding. And that would have been a problem, but it wasn't really a problem because January is cold and I don't drink as much. So it was okay. Um, I was taking dried fruit with me for those rides and that wasn't too bad. I never, you know, I never felt like I had a lack of energy or, or anything. So that was fine. Uh, like I said, the main thing was breakfast. I tried adding bananas and that just didn't taste right. I tried adding applesauce that didn't turn out so well either. And that was my main issue. So and another thing you'll learn if you didn't know already is that if you buy any kind of processed foods, even that you wouldn't expect has sugar in it, it has sugar in it. So, <laughs> but I'm already pretty good at reading food labels and I know all that and I don't eat that much processed food anyway. So, um, is this something I would do long-term? Definitely not. Is it something you should try? Yeah, man, give it a try. It's more of a exercise and discipline than anything else. And, you know, maybe you will react better to it, but I had a pretty difficult time and I'm glad it's over that night at midnight I <laughs> I uh, ate way too much sugar and but now I'm back to normal I'm just eating sugar for breakfast in my oatmeal and I don't really eat too much junk throughout the day so it's not too big of a problem so that's it give it a try see how it goes um, next month I'm doing yoga every day and that shouldn't be an issue. I've done it once before, but I've kind of been slacking on my yoga lately. So I definitely want to, uh, my goal for the month is to get my downward dog with my heels on the ground. I kind of reached that last year, but uh, without as much practice, it went away. So <laughs> I'm really inflexible, especially on my legs. But anyway, I'll let you know more about that next time. Have a good week. Enjoy your rides. See you later.